In this video, we will continue with implicit differentiation. I realize now I spelled it incorrect there. There's supposed to be an I, so I'm just going to correct it. And in the previous videos, you can just take note of it. Okay, so you will find this on page 497 in the Namibia A is level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. Okay, let's look at another example. And now I'm bringing trigonometry in. So find dy over dx of sin xy equals x. Okay, so here is the trigonometry. Now I was showing you and I want to show you both. I was taking the formula sheet and I was taking something of the summary. So on the formula sheet, um, I can see that if I differentiate sin, it's going to be cos x. So you will find that on the formula sheet. But remember, we are going to do the chain rule as well as the product rule. Okay, so the chain rule will say, okay, let me just say it like this. So say, for example, this was sin u and u was xy. So if we differentiate the outside, it will become cos u, so it will become cos xy, so that's the outside, what I did there, and now we will differentiate the inside, which is then going to be the product rule. Okay, so I rewrite the first one, I differentiate the second one, and as soon as I differentiate to y, I write dy over dx. Then I rewrite the second one, and I differentiate the first one. Okay, and there, okay, I did that. And then the last one, I differentiate to x. And now I just simplify. So if I simplify this, remember, this will become 1. So it will just be x dy dx. And then um, multiply this is y. And remember, this is becoming 1 again, so it's that y. And then I can just multiply it in. That's basically what I did there. I multiply and I multiply and I get my two terms there. And I'm looking for the term containing dy dx. So keep it on this side. Take the other one over and then divide by that, divide, and there is your final answer. Okay, now I was, I was putting this for you and uh, because I want you to do A, but due to the fact, and remember, just take note, I don't see it on, on the Cambridge kind of sheet. Maybe in the Namibian sheet it can be different, but I don't see the other one. So... It will be good if you go to the summary at the back of this chapter. The basic ones are there. There's sin, there's tan, there's cos. But you don't see the ones, and if I make it a bit bigger, I want to show you here. You don't see the ones where sin a plus b, cos ax plus b, oh sorry, ax plus b, tan ax plus b. So you don't see that ones. So it will be good if you memorize that once. And the same, you don't see this ones here, and I'm going to use one of them now. Um, so it will be good to, to just memorize the extra ones. Okay. But you can stop the video, and you can do number A. I'm just going to move it again. Yes. And you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, let's start. Number A. So it's going to be x squared sin y plus cos 3y, and that's equal to 4. Okay, now remember the product rule. So I'm going to first um, rewrite the first one, differentiate the second one. And remember, as soon as I differentiate, to y, I write dy dx. And then, don't forget, plus, I'm not finished, now I write the second one. So I'm still busy working here. There is my chain rule. Okay, so I, I write the second one and I differentiate the first one. Okay. And then I go on. And now this is why I was, I was putting this. Because now I'm going to say I also differentiate to y. I will now, as soon as I write the answer. 
and then it's going to be cos 3y, okay, and I'll show you now, we're going to get there the answer, and then, don't forget, if you are 2y, then you're going to write dy over dx, and then you're going to do, is equal to d over dx, and it's 4. Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to start. So basically, I'm going to get x squared, and if I, if, now, what is sin? Okay, now, as I said, sin is all right, that becomes cos. So it's cos y, just depending on what the variable is. So in this case, it's y, and then there is your dy over dx. Plus, sin y, remember, this one will become, or you can put a bracket, 2x, okay? Plus, I'm going on here. Um, now, now, look there. Cos ax is negative a, so this is going to be negative. And what is the value of a? It's the value in front of the variable. So negative 3, and then sin, do you see it goes to sin, and then 3y. So please, um, just memorize at least this, this ones and this ones. You can derive it, but that's going to take too long. Okay, and because it's 2y, that's why it's dy dx, and that's 0. Okay, and now I'm going to, to uh, finish off. Remember, that one must be in front. It cannot stand there. That's a unit. It's close. So it's going to be actually x squared cos y dy dx. This one is also a unit, it must be in front, so 2x, and then it's going to be sin y. This becomes negative 3 sin 3y and dy over dx. Okay, and now I look for my terms with my dy dx. There it is. So this term must move over. I'm doing it a little bit longer. It's just for the video's sake. You can do it shorter. So you can even take out dy over dx already. So maybe we can spare it. It's now not the first video. Okay, so if I take this out as a common factor, I'm ending with x squared cos y minus 3 sin 3y, because I took that out. And that one goes over negative 2x sin y. Okay, and now I'm basically just going to divide by that, and I'm just going to divide by that, both sides. So therefore, and I can finish off by saying therefore, dy over dx and remember, I divide this bracket on both sides, so negative 2x sin y over, and then it's going to be x squared cos y minus 3 sin 3y. And that is your final answer. And the very interesting about this last chapter is how we are bringing all the different chapters together and start connecting everything. So it's very, very important that you conquer a chapter before, especially chapter 10, before you go on to chapter 11. And then we will go to 12, and then lastly to 13.